Welcome back to Chat Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today for more to life. Dating coaches tells her clients it's over. All the good men are passport bros. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Ask that chow. Chow time. Imagine a man walks up to you and be like, hey, you're so beautiful. Like, can I get your number? And you say no. And then he stabs you and then you die. We do not care. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that escalated really quickly. You said no and he stabbed you and you to death? Whoa. Crazy. Like, no matter how much precaution we as women can take, men have always and will always be the problem. Like, we could literally do everything in the book right. They will always find a way to ruin us. Like, I don't understand why we have to come up with, like, elaborate schemes so that men can leave us alone. If I'm walking down the street and you try to talk to me and I say I don't want to talk, then you should up and not talk to me like i don't have to, i don't want to have to say that i have a boyfriend regardless if i have a boyfriend or not you should leave me alone wait a minute who are you regardless if i'm having a good day bad day if i tell you to leave me alone like first of all 100 percent cap on whatever the fuck she's saying i don't there's no way that many men are approaching you to that level to where you know, you can't walk on the street and, and have to not lie to people or something. That's crazy. You're not that good looking, girl. You're maybe a sub four. There shouldn't be any debate. Like, the entitlement that sometimes men have, like, they have to talk to you because they want to talk to you, is so crazy. And I see, like, a lot of men are like, well, women shouldn't go out at night and women shouldn't. Why? Even when women stay home. Men shouldn't either, but we tell women because it's more dangerous for you. We don't tell men because we don't give a fuck about them. They can go out at night if they want and they get mugged. It's their fault. What do y'all do? Beat us in the house. Huh? It's like, there is literally no escaping you animals. Like, it literally doesn't make any sense that, like, women could literally do nothing. You assume too much. <laughs> we literally just exist and you guys try to ruin us no matter what you're wearing it don't matter where you're doing it don't matter where you're going it don't matter who you're with if a man wants to do something horrific to you he's gonna find a way every single time every single time what? Are we blind? like i've been approached do you live in some third world country where people are just getting off the left and right or something what the hell's going on here by men and they'll be like oh you should smile I don't want to. Now what? Now what? I don't want to smile. Now what? Like, it just pains me that, like, they just will never take, like, responsibility for the fact that they're literally the problem. Like, it's always going to be women. You know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for her to say, I was attacked. I'm waiting for that. I and you know who this always comes from? A lot of times, it comes from younger women. This happens all the time. I can't believe it's still happening, but it's happening. And then they wonder why guys are checking out, right? Every woman is saying the same thing. Not every, but most women. That young, are young ones, oh, for sure. Why do guys like this? It's funny because the ones that haven't even experienced life, they've only heard stories from people around them, all the, the feminists around them that are in their 40s now are telling them all these things, and they totally believe everything, even though they've never experienced most of this hardship, most of these discrimination-type things ever in their life. I hate men, the men. And then they hit a, hit a certain age and go, why is nobody talking to me? Because it is here. Let me let her finish though, because she's digging a grave for herself so deep that she will never be able to get up. It's women that women did. When are you guys going to be like, maybe we are the problem. Maybe we should start telling our homeboys to stop being freaking creeps so that women can enjoy life. I want to enjoy life. Be out at 2 a.m. and do fun things with my friends and not have to worry about a man snatching me up and taking my life away because he wanted to. Are we blind? Thank you. Whoa. How many times have you seen women get snatched away at 2 a.m.? I don't know very many. Well, I don't go out either. But for you to think that it's happening, what, every 2 a.m., every night, every day, that there's women just getting abducted all over the place? Oh, no. It will never be wise to be dressed like a scuzz bucket <laughs> after the club, right? Coming home at 3 in the morning. Yes, you need to have friends around. Yep. Because the freaks come out at night. I mean, what do you, what do you want guys to say? Like, tell all the creeps that are creeps out there. Not to move. See what they're doing. They're blaming 
what's happening with one set of guys, the creeps and the trolls and all those dudes, whatever you got. The crackheads. When some guys just want to get your number. Some a guy saying want your smell, a guy should never say that. I I if somebody's saying that to her nowadays, that's wild. Cause I get it. Most guys don't want to leave. They want to shoot their shot. But all the guys I know are, are done with y'all. Let me get on to the next one. You should not be with him. We should not be the teachers for men on how to be in a relationship. It's not our job to to teach them how to be decent human beings. It's not our job to teach them how to have empathy, to have emotional intelligence, to simply care about another human being. Do you have to show your partner? Because men don't give a fuck, right? We didn't propagate society. We don't do the shitty jobs. We don't fucking help out our boys. We don't do shit like that, huh? We're just useless fucking crusty dusty old men huh you know the water that's running in your in your house the electricity that's running in your house and that's just greedy men that just didn't care for society or care for others right how best to love you yes yes we we're not we don't want anybody to be a mind reader we're not pretending that anybody is a mind reader or should be a mind reader lies but foundationally at like the basic level, we should not be teaching men how to be in a relationship. Like the basic foundational constructs of how a relationship works. I shouldn't have to teach you to... Shut the fuck up for one. You know how many women I've had to teach how to be in relationships with me? Almost every single one of them. So you women out there have no clue how to be in a relationship yourselves. So shut the fuck up. You still dress the same way you dress and do the same shit you do when you were single and now you're in a relationship. What makes you think you guys know better? Be a good listener and not automatically go on the defense when I'm talking to you about my feelings. I shouldn't have to teach you care. that screaming at me or using obscenities at me or calling me any sort of name is not okay we don't in a relationship that. also should not have to teach you basic human skills like grocery shopping uh properly doing laundry so you're definitely they tell on themselves guys i know i interrupt a lot but i like interrupting it's part of my thing they're going after the ray rays and the pookies and the chads because why these men didn't know how to didn't need to go grocery shopping didn't need to know how to cook and do all these things because they were chads and tyrones you women fucking threw yourselves at them and they were able to treat you guys like shit just like you're explaining right now and you still stuck with them they called you names they talked shit on you they told you you weren't good enough blah blah fucking blah but now all men are like that <laughs> Um, properly washing your own ass. Women provide enough free labor in the forms of teachers, in the forms of therapists, in the forms of Ow. second mothers. We should not be doing any more free emotional or physical domestic labor for men anymore. If your man doesn't know that liking another woman's photo on Instagram is bad, you should not be with him. If your man doesn't know that gaslighting you about your feelings and emotions um, is detrimental to your health, you should not be with him. If your man doesn't know how to have a productive conversation that is not an argument, but simply a disagreement. Damn, all three of those points right there. I'm going to tell you men, if a woman does any of those three things, leave them. You should not be with him. We are not here to fix men. We are not here to raise them. We are not here to educate them. That is not our job. If they want to be in a cishet relationship with women, they need to start doing the work. Women always want a certain type of guy, right? Mm -hmm. So now you're saying you want a man that's emotional. I get it. She's right in some point. No woman should have to show a man how to be understanding. I mean, it comes naturally, but yeah. still, I look at it like this, right? Say you're doing all that for a man and he learns, right? Some guys may need a little help. 
So if, if you do help somebody and he ends up being the best partner for you, you wouldn't know unless you helped him, mm. right? That's what a relationship is. So I see from your age, you seem like you're older than me. So Mid you should 40s. be married now. So if that's your husband you're talking about, probably not. Probably not. Then you should be talking about your husband and you should be sticking out with your husband. Listen, lady, you're at the age where you should have a husband. Oh, you probably did. You probably got a divorce. I'm not sure, but does she look around that age, y'all? But listen to this. Women have to understand it's about patience and long suffering, every relationship, right? Men go through it all the time. Men have to sit through a lot of stuff women have to deal with, have to sit through hair and nails appointments sometimes. I mean, just random things, right? Places they don't want to go. Grocery store. It, but if he's just a Neanderthal, don't deal with him. But I doubt that's happening. I'm sure it's, it's some situations where he's not all there, but no guy's just messing up that bad. I just don't see it. Anyway, help. No, I'm telling you, bro. It's She's going after the Chad, Ray Ray's, and the Pookies, and they don't give a fuck. They're going to do whatever the fuck they want to do and treat you her the way she, they treat all women. And that's why these women are feeling like all men are like this. All the men that they're chasing, all of these top tier men, treat them like trash. Go to the next one. What makes a high value woman? Oh God. What's that? Concepts foreign to you. Modesty, modesty being demure. Modesty, what does mo modesty? Yeah, modesty in character, modesty in appearance, modesty in her demeanor. You just don't like it when a woman is outspoken. You're intimidated by that. She belongs to the streets. You just met me oh, like 10 minutes fuck. ago. He called. Okay, and let's, you're already guys, starting guys, 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 guys. to say, you just called me a you, insulted hold on, hold on, me. Hold on, hold on. I have not insulted you. you. I said that you are intimidated. It wait, seems wait, 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 to wait, me listen. that you are intimidated. It's not my fault. And nobody's intimidated by you, first of all. I don't know. <laughs> Second of all, yeah, you no, it even, seems like you're intimidated by you, listen, somebody that like that speaks the truth. That modesty, that is okay, okay that is your concern. Modesty. No. So yeah, you just said that a high value woman, the first thing that came out of your mouth was Now you shouldn't throw out the B word. But what's your point? You just jumping down his throat and you said he's scared of you. Like what did you do for him to be scared of you? <laughs> A man is not scared of a woman. Like, just because you talk doesn't mean men are scared. <laughs> a man is scared of another man. Yeah. I bet you he wouldn't call another man that B word, which I, I didn't like anyway. But, you know, that was a little off. But he's not scared of you. Modesty. That multi, is at the top of your list. There are multiple things that came out Is of that at the top of the list? Modesty. No. It's one of those things close to the top, right? A woman being modest in your appearance. A guy... Wants a woman they can bring home to their family. So modesty is one of those top things. That's what guys are looking for. Guys are looking for modesty and appearance, as he said. Modesty in their attitude, right? Modest in their sexual behaviors. What that means is not giving up to everybody that you've met or everybody you've, you, that you've came across in the past. Not having too many bodies, modest in that way. A guy wants a woman to be modest in all things. Yes, that is one. That is a top character. Let me go on to the next one. Why do I get an email saying that the light bill about to get cut off? Because you didn't pay it, obviously. I gave you the pay. money. I gave you the money last week. No, that was money for my hair and my nails. Run. Wow. Don't even do that. Now, you know, I told you I had a hair appointment and I was going to get my nails redone. Don't even play like that. Yo, hair you and your nails. You should have paid that light bill. I told you. I, I, I gave I you the money know. for I it. I that. I told that, you I to told pay you it. I told you that money was for my hair and my nails. What do you say? This is why you take care of your all your own shit, guys. Do not depend on them to take care of anything. When I was married, I took care of everything. All bills, all something. I All of it came to me. I was notified by everything because I just can't trust someone else to take care of these shits for you. What are you talking about? Get out. Are you serious right now, bro? No, are you serious? I told you you need to go online and you need to Why? pay it. I told you I was using that to pay for my deposit of my hair appointment. I told you, bro. What you mean? They just like, sent me no. a notice. I told you, bro. Like, like, like. Well, this, you better get game. it stitched or something. I don't know what to tell you. I already used that money. What are you talking about? You should have been paid. It. You should have been a man and made what sure happened to, was paid. What happened to your? Oh, wow, you're gonna. She's gonna. He had you take care of it, and then you're gonna blame him for not taking care of it when. Leadership guys, if they're not willing to to be led, 
Why even fucking bother? Yo, money. Why can't you pay job, for your baby. own hair? What happened to your money? I have to do other stuff with my money. You don't need to worry about that. Get out. You need to be a man and you need to take care of them bills. That's what you need to do. You need to be a man and worry about them bills. They should be paid and up to date. What are you talking about? That's why I gave you the money for the light bill so you could pay it. Not to get your hair and your nails done, bro. Whatever, bro. That right there should have been the end. That should have been the end. Now, I'm sure he has the money. I hope he has the money to pay that bill. But when you're with a woman, you can't. That doesn't have the com not common sense. That isn't. That's so selfish, I should say. That she has a, a small piece of change. And she, and she probably said it to him, so I believe that. I said, no, I, no, I'm gonna do this and get my get my hair, nails done. And he said, no, pay the bill. And he said, now I'm gonna get my hair and nails done. And he, he's he left it alone because you see, he's very passive. He was very passive, expecting her to pay the bill. Brother, you shouldn't have gave her the money to pay the bill. Agreed. And number two, you shouldn't be with her. Agreed. That is a woman right there you can't trust at all. Nope. You know she's a bird brain. Come on now. Stop it, bro. You know darn well she's a bird brain. And this is the other side of it, right? Us men are shitty pickers just like women. <laughs> Plenty of us good men. Yes, you know, I don't. I would consider him a pretty good man. He was pretty calm about it. Pretty relaxed, you know, taking care of what he needs to take care of. Picking shitty women. We do it all the time. I made the mistake. You guys will probably make the mistake. And keep on making mistakes. You just got to either stop it, tr make less mistakes, learn from each one. Or you just got to make as many mistakes as you can until you can't make any more. And that is your fault. You know what she was dealing with. You know she was only good for giving neck, dropping it like it's hot, and that was it. She shouldn't be in your home, bro. Don't you agree, Mr. Feather? Word. What are some of the main problems with modern feminism? How about y'all answering? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, I see problems with it, and I am a feminist. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't call myself like a modern feminist because, like I said, I think the man should still be the head of the household. <laughs> but I also think a lot of men are not respectable enough to be the head of my household. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a big problem in society these days is, of course, women want a man to lead, but there's not a lot of men that are capable of leading right now. And that's why you see these that. women like kind of like kind of becoming the man because they're not finding these they're not finding the strong men that they need to mm -hmm. rely on. Well, a lot of times women are not being the strong woman a man can trust. Right. Not to be a fool, as you see. The last video where the man gave the woman the light bill money. He was being a strong man. Seems like he was paying all the bills. And she used to get her hair and nails done. Right? Now I get what she's saying. A lot of guys are weak nowadays. Yep. And reasons being, you know, who are they let by? Most of the homes nowadays are single moms. And... Of course, the kids, the son or the daughters, of course, we're talking about the sons here, are not getting the proper discipline that's needed, right? There's no discipline like a dad giving it. It's just a matter of fact. A kid is going to respect a man more, right? I he, he's true. It's true. I always feared my dad more than I feared my mom. My mom was more hands-on with, uh, you know, I was, you know, smacking you left and right for doing something wrong. My dad was more stern on warnings. If he gave you a warning, okay, that's one warning. He gives you two warnings, there better not be a third one. All right? My mom, first warning, smack. Second warning, smack, smack. Third warning, smack, 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 smack. You know? That was my mom. So I wasn't even really scared of that. But my dad's warnings and stern, like... You fucked up. And then the second time, you fucked up again? Don't make it happen again. Did I ever make it happen again? Fuck no. But with my mom, a little bit different. I don't care as much about the kid hurting his thumb as you do. I don't care as much about the kid giving me an excuse as you do. So that's going to, to uh, play through in a much different way, especially to a boy growing up. Anyway, let me hop on to the next one.
I'm coaching this woman and she's 56 years old, my age, Gen X, and she's so sweet. She asks me, Lisa, where are all the good men? Friend zone. Friend zone. Where are they? They're in the friend are zone. Are they at the gym? Probably they might they be. at home playing video? Like, where are They're they? They're in the friend zone. And she's like, I'm not even really looking for guys that are super young or anything. Like, I'm looking for guys that are my age or 10 years older. So she's 56, right? So she's looking for guys 56 to 66. And I had to bear the bad news. I said, honey, they're all like in Southeast Asia, South America. She's like, they are? Yeah. Cold and bossy, the passport bros. We ain't shelling out cash for a whole no. And I said, yeah, like they go have girlfriends. They do this thing where they take their passports and they go and they travel. And they meet girls there who are really young and fit and pretty. You want something feminine and delicate. So, we have a dating coach, right? He's keeping it real. This lady bashed Passport Bros before. She I is do keeping that. it real. Guys are very much so doing it. Guys around her age, as she said, Southeast Asia, most of those guys are in the Philippines. That's just fact. Most of those guys are going down to Cebu. Uh, going down to Mindanao, some guys are in Manila with a sweet young thing, and they're not dealing with the headaches anymore. I see it all the time. I meet these guys all the time. I speak to them all the time. Yeah, he's in they're the Philippines white, himself. Black, all colors doing it. I just interviewed a guy the other day who's around that age who wouldn't dare deal with, and he was introduced to his Filipina by another guy around that age and feminine and they make them their girlfriends and then they just have an arrangement where they travel back and forth he flies her over or he'll go see her and sometimes they even expatriate and they live both in america and they do like seasonal where they live in the other country i don't really get talk about i mentioned this too much but uh my roommate that I live with, his dad is a passport bro. He lives in the Philippines. He only comes back in February for like a week or two to do taxes and things like that. And then he travels back. He works for American Airlines, I believe. So he gets like super cheap flights. Him flying back and forth to the Philippines maybe cost him a couple hundred bucks. So if you really want to be a passport bro, I don't think it's too hard. He worked for the airlines for I think 15 plus years or something. And he got those retirement package with the airline where he get to fly for very cheap on standby which is pretty awesome when you think about it when you're traveling to southeast asia for a couple hundred bucks that's usually a couple thousand dollars and she's like that's a thing i thought that was just like an internet thing what can i say tell coach cliff to suit me up and i'll play i'm winning like like no it's really happening and the reason is because feminism Right? And she's like, but our generation isn't that. Our generation wasn't raised to like hate men and not be feminine and not know how to cook and all that. Like, we're in our 50s and 60s. And I said to her that men sure that about age that. prefer women who will not take half their. They're really doing it because of the ridiculous no fault dis divorce laws in our country. And it just. I mention the laws, the marriage laws all the time when it comes to passport bros. Other channels usually don't mention it as much as me. It's nice to have a woman actually mention it herself, that the laws are against us. Just made it so that men and women in America um, aren't marrying anymore. And she's like, wow, like I'm hearing more and more of this. It's so sad. What's going to happen? We're going to just kind of like not have... Um, a population anymore like that's what exactly what's do? happening and these are the kinds of conversations i get into with my clients because my clients are pretty awake like they know what's up they know it on different so you mean to tell me women in america are already feeling the burn you gotta be kidding me you gotta be kidding me guys are <laughs> holding the line it's what we do right yeah yeah guys are holding the line this is crazy levels though like this girl didn't really, woman rather, didn't really understand like 
the dot connection between what the global elites want for the world and feminism and how that played a role and why it all boils down to why she can't find guys, right? She can't find a good, solid guy, 60 years old, who's going to want to date her. And this woman, she's 56. She's really pretty. She's in shape. I mean, I'm 53. I'm in shape. I look young. I look good. And not with like the heavy, like, cosmetic surgery, the duke lips. Like, she looks her age. She looks pretty. It, she's classy. And she struggles to find a really good guy. And I had to explain it. So I said, well, don't be in despair, okay? I met my husband when I was 50, and he was 56. So it is possible. Don't lose hope. But you have to be real you have to know what's going on. Oh, I like this dating coach. She, she's keeping it real for this woman. Men are traveling abroad. Passport bros is what they call themselves. And they are looking for younger women who are super nurturing, um, not tainted by the materialism of the Western society. Um, a woman who's not going to be demanding a feminine and delicate. delicate. How to do it. Bag or some, you know, $400 fragrance or trips to Dubai or whatever. So there has to be a happy medium. And I'm here to tell the men out there listening to this video that there are a lot of unicorn women, Gen X women who. Just that statement alone is stupid. There's a lot of unicorn women. We wouldn't call it a goddamn unicorn if there was a lot of them. Who were raised with the values of you know, taking care of your man, he takes care of you too, that you guys are a team, and they're out there. So do what you got to do to find love. It's out there for everybody. Mainly work on yourself and work on your mindset so that you can attract Agreed. whatever you want. Oh, and yes, guys are doing that, right? And she spoke her piece, and I think a lot more women are going to feel that burn. And Let it Guys, you're, you're, you're holding a line, you're doing it, and it's not, and it's it's in a major way, but they're not truly feeling it until more men wake up, but she kept it real. Hey, we're trying our best to wake up the young men, the men in their 20s, the men in their teens still. I, had, I don't have too many of them watching my channel, mostly you guys are in your 30s, but if we can get to those guys, that'd be better off for them. Yes, us in our 30s, we've seen it all. We're ready to leave. Those guys in our 20s, they don't know anything yet. They're about to experience the shits. And uh, I, would, I would like it so they don't experience the shits and turn into bitter men like a lot of men do turn into. This is what's happening. This is the talk she's having with her because she's a female coach. So she coaches females. She has a husband, so she's teaching women how to do it. And I'm not going to say they won't find anybody. But it's a long, hard road. At the end, she said, guys, give these women a chance. How are guys going to give these women a chance? They just, a lot of these women got out of a divorce three, four years ago. Yep. A guy gets the question in them, and then they'll say, oh, are they a lie? They, they got a lie or something. But they say, oh, you know, how, how was that last relationship? I got out of a divorce. What are you waiting for? Yeah, he's take flight, he's, he's out. And guys will continue leaving because they realize. This is the way. Your passport, bro. This is the way. Your passport, no. There's definitely more to life than dealing with that nonsense back home. Hold the line. Oh, shout outs to more to life. You know, our passport bro from the Philippines. If you guys ever do go to the Philippines, you definitely should hit him up. He definitely should be able to show you around and how to be able to move about in the Philippines. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time.